Hey everyone, welcome back to the range. Another 57 by 28 millimeter ammo test. This is from 80 Teeth Ammunition. This is their 55 grain copper solid. For all you folks that gotta go lead free, copper's the way to go. Let's throw this on the table and see what we have in store today. For our testing, we do not have the 57 or the PS90 SBR with us. We have our Ruger 57, which is a 4.91 inch barrel, and the CMMG conversion which has an 8 inch barrel. In our testing prior the Ruger actually has better velocities than the 5.7 and the CMMG usually gets as good if not slightly better velocities than the 10 inch when you get into the faster rounds. We have our Procono Digital as always at approximately 12 feet or so. It's about 50 degrees outside today. Sunny. We'll start with our shortest barrel length which is our Ruger 5.7 with the 4.91 inch barrel. I do kind of like the packaging on the 80 teeth. It is very small and compact, like the 57 by 28 millimeter round is. They come loose packed in a sealed plastic bag inside here. Would be nice if the packaging was more like the factory packaging, but even then, that's really compact, but they're very fragile to busting open when you buy lots of it online and they come in the mail and the UPS driver kickballs your box. getting so bright that it's hard to see the red dot. 1430, 14.24, 14.32, 14.30, 14.26, 14.10, 13.93, 1430, 1426, 1461. Not bad. Kind of like the 55-grain training round. These are going to be a little on the slower side, but in 5.7, we really favor 28 to 40-grain loadings in these heavier loadings. I don't feel the need to drive them as fast as possible. And now our 8-inch barrel. This is our CMMG MK57 conversion. Uses the 40-round magazines. This is the tungsten color. Just have a standard A2 flash hider up front. Definitely need to change that to a muzzle brake for my turbo 556 that's still in jail. 1598. 1568. 1600. Bonus points for getting that in the uh, wheelbarrow behind me. 1608. 1587, 1594, 1598, 1616, 1614, 1598. I'd say if you're looking for a I didn't test this in gel, although if I did, it probably would give us good penetration depths of over probably 16 to 18 inches and it's going to tumble because it's a copper solid and it's not going to fragment or break apart in any way because of its velocity. These are a more milder loading for your Ruger 5.7 or your FN 5.7 or CMMG MK 5.7, etc, etc. But if you're looking for this type of load for compliance for hunting laws or whatever, definitely check out 80 Teeth Ammunition. I'd like to thank them for sending us out some samples, my Patreon supporters, and you all for watching. Until next time, catch you at the range.